How to use the Easy Voice Recorder. In this tutorial, we're going to teach you how to record your own voice to be used for little reader or little musician media files. With a built-in Easy Voice Recorder, you can replace pronunciation files in existing categories or create new pronunciations for your own lessons. You can even record your own sound effects. To record sound files, go to the Tools screen by clicking the Tools button on top of the Little Reader or Little Musician screens. Select the Easy Voice Recorder tab, and then click on the Launch BrillKids Easy Voice Recorder button. This will open the Easy Voice Recorder. Since we're going to create a new recording, first, make sure your microphone is connected to your computer and functioning properly. When you're ready, click on the Record button and speak to your microphone. You'll notice that the record button is now changed to a stop button. Click on the stop button to stop recording. You can use the skip to start button next to the record button if you want to rewind, and then click play to play back what you just recorded. Now let's explain the different components of the Easy Voice Recorder. The green line in the window is a graphic representation of your sound file, also known as a waveform. For more advanced users, you can also zoom in and out using the zoom button to see the waveform in greater detail. These details may help in editing your recording, for example, deciding where to cut off the sound file to minimize the file size. The numbers along the top represent the timeline, divided up into sectors. This will give you an idea of how long your recording goes for. The longer the recording is, the larger the file size will be. So if there's a lot of silence at the beginning or end of your recording, you can delete them to reduce the file size. To delete, simply select the portion that you want to be deleted by clicking and dragging that area, and press delete on your keyboard. The numbers on the left tell you how loud the recording is. The wider or flatter the waveform, the louder the recording is. But be careful. If your recording is too loud, the sound will become distorted and crackly. If this happens, you should just record your sound over again. Bass Boost The Bass Boost function is used to adjust recordings to make them sound deeper and less tinny. To use the Bass Boost function, simply select the option from the Other Effects menu. The Bass Boost window will pop up. Move the sliders next to the frequency and boost to adjust the sound effect. You may want to click on the preview button to preview how the recording will sound like after the sound effect is applied. When you're done with the changes, click OK to save the settings. Normalizing Normalizing the recording will scale the recording to be as loud and clear as possible without distorting the sound into crackling audio. It's best used when you've recorded a clear sound but found it to be too soft. To normalize your recording, simply click on the Normalize button. The Silence function The Silence function will help make a selected region completely silent. To eliminate noise, simply click and drag an area that you want to make silent and click on the Silent button. This function is very helpful if your recording has a lot of background hissing on your sound file. Changing Pitch the Change Pitch function is used to alter the pitch within your recording itself without altering the speed of the recording. Just drag the slider and select Preview to see what your recording will sound like before you commit any changes. Once you're happy with the pitch change, click OK to commit. Changing Tempo The Change Tempo function is used to alter the speed of your recorded sound without altering its pitch. Simply drag the slider and click Preview to see what your recording will sound like before committing any changes. The Noise Function The Noise Function is used to iron out unwanted background noise from your recording. To use the Noise Function, first play back your recording and find the selection in the audio that is only made up of noise, which we will call a Noise Profile. Click on the Noise button. In the dialog box that pops up, Click Get Noise Profile. Like other functions, you can preview what your recording will sound like before you commit any changes. Once you're happy with the result, click on Remove Noise. Just in case you've made a mistake, or you want to revert back to a previous step you've taken, 
click on the Undo button. Should you choose to redo an edit that you've made, click on the Redo button. If you're happy with your edited results, click on the Save button. And that's it. Now you can add pronunciations to Little Reader or Little Musician Lessons. Brought to you by BroKids.